us about your philosophy of the free market relationship. Okay, yeah. This is something that is, is debated quite often. Um, uh, so, you're familiar with the free market? No, I'm not. Break it down for us. Okay, and so those who are not in business, familiar with this. In business, you know, you got an idea of a free market economy, meaning that anything that you can bring to market, as long as somebody is there to purchase it, you're in business. It doesn't okay. matter. Okay. That's why you know the sorority sister shows is doing so well. Yeah, yeah. Because even though everybody hates it, you have people that are gonna still watch it. Yes. Okay. okay. Absolutely. And so the concept of free market relationship works the same way. You know, uh, like I said, I have a blog. It's called the UrbanBachelor.com. The UrbanBachelor.com. Yeah, and it's pretty much you know to empower gentlemen who are working on their on their personal self, their business, or whatever they okay. want to do to be able to still have you know, substantial relationships without without being, the, without being bogged down by bullied. the expectations of a traditional monogamous relationship. Okay. okay. And so when it comes to free market relationship, you set your boundary. And if somebody doesn't like where you are at that particular moment, mm -hmm. they're free to exit. Mm. But it's all about <laughs> communication. You know what I mean? You don't wanna you don't wanna lead anybody on or send them Absolutely up a creek, not. you know what I mean? You want everybody to know where everybody stands at all this point in time. Keep it one hundred. Yeah, exactly. And so believe it or not, a lot of people are, are practicing free market economy right now and they don't even know no, it. They don't even know it. You <laughs> didn't know. <laughs> it's under the guise of monogamy. Mm. And that's when you get, you know, you get hurt feelings, you get people who they thought you were the one and you ended up not being, you know. And mm. so moving into this new era that we're moving into where the demographics of love and life are different. Mm -hmm. You know, we all watch uh, Love and Hip Hop, ATL, and see how you got Stevie J messing with such and such girl and such and such other girl yeah, and yeah. so on and so forth. And so if that's your prerogative to do, you should be able to put that on the table and allow a woman to make a decision if that's something that she wants to participate okay. in. Okay. Yeah. So, with that said, what is your point of view on uh, uh, polygamy? Polygamy? <laughs> That's actually kind of funny because I, I just got it from the, the birthplace of polygamy. Really? Uh, Salt Lake City, Utah with the Mormons. And I met a polygam polyg uh, a gentleman that came from a, a polygamous family. Really? And he said it was all about love. Me personally, I don't see how you do it. I can only afford one wife at a time. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I really feel like in 2015, we should really be more open to alternative types of relationships. Um, we've seen a decline in marriage. We've seen an increase in divorce. Um, the, the demographics of what it takes to run a household are different. We see an increase in single parents and, yeah, yeah. and more of a nurturing atmosphere. So now, it used to be, you know, you were a single mom 10, 20 years ago. You, you were outcast, you know? Yeah. But now it's almost the expectation at a certain point. You meet a woman with no kids, you're like, oh wow, how you know how that happened. How that happened, yeah. And so with that being said, I feel like we have to uh, allow the entire atmosphere to shift as well. And so that brings into play polygamy, polyamory, where you might be in a situation where you're in a, a somewhat monogamous relationship in some aspects. Define be, somewhat monogamous relationship. Somewhat course. monogamous might be where you have one person that's special to you, mm -hmm. but maybe sexually there are other people involved. So, so basically you have a main chick and some side bitches. That, or it could be, you know, maybe I got a main bitch, uh -huh. quote unquote, and we like bitches. My girl mm -hmm. got a girlfriend. Or it could be a situation of, you know, what, what I do when she's not around is what I do. You know what I mean? But there's still that mutual respect. You're never going to bring any, any of that dirt home. You're never okay. going to bring any kind Absolutely, of, yeah. you know, nothing negative back to the house. Yeah, so, I see that. Makes but, sense. Yeah, it's all about communication, though. And I think that's what a lot of people are lacking in their relationship. It's expectations without communication. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Well, man, you got anything else to say? I, we got a lot of information for you this evening. Okay, okay. Well, um, you know, it's been cool, but I, I really I just want to say, man, people need to get back to loving each other and uh, leaving all the bullshit behind, leaving all that, that expectation, the obligation, and really make it to a point where people are back in it for the love of things. If you care about somebody, let them know. And treat people how you want to be treated. Exactly. If you can make it work, then do everything you can to do that. It's all about being happy. Exactly.